Math 7, quarter 1, week 3. So, the, the lesson will be uh, will be absolute value of a number. We're in um, the foundation of this is the discussion about number line. So, your number line is a line with a zero in the middle with numbers placed at equal intervals along its length. So, this is an example of a um, integer, integer number line wherein equal your positive these are all, these are all negative integers and these are all positive integers of equal intervals along its length and zero is in the middle our zero is not positive and also not a negative and there is no movement if it is a zero so we will be using this number line um, to determine the value of our absolute value of a number as a definition of absolute value of number it's a distance of the number from zero does the absolute value of a number is a non-negative the value of our, our absolute value is a non-negative not negative so it is positive number example um we have in mathematics it the to determine the absolute value of a number a number is placed in between two bars a number is placed in between two bars inside of two bars so it is being read as absolute value of five absolute value of five so what is the absolute value of five so it's five um using the number line positive five positive 5 here so the absolute value to determine just draw all let's count 1 2 3 4 5 this time this is the distance between the positive 5 to the 0 in order to determine the absolute value of a number, it's the distance of a number from 0 to a number. So, again, let's reverse. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, there are 5 units or 5 steps from 0 to positive 5. So, our answer will be 5. How about if is the absolute value absolute value of negative 5 is 5 why um in the number line negative 5 so the distance of a number from 0 so we will count so we will start from 0 1 2 again again it's 1 2, 3, 4, 5. So therefore, there, there are 5 units or 5 steps from 0 to negative 5. So therefore, the answer will be um, 5. For further examples about this, find the absolute value of the following. So number 1, it's uh, the absolute value of negative 3. It's negative 3. So based from our number 9, negative 3 count the number of distance from 0 to negative 3 very simple draw 1 2 3 so there are 3 steps or units away from 0 so therefore your negative the absolute value of negative 3 is 3 because there are 3 units 1 2 3 it's 3 next how about the absolute value of 0 0 has no movement so 0 the absolute value of 0 so only 0 no movement how about for 6 the absolute value of 6 so very simple um, 6 so from 0 count going to 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so therefore you have 6 units that is how simple it is to determine the absolute value of a number. 
since we are already talking about integer, um, what is an integer? In, an integer is a number with no fractional part, no decimal. So therefore, it is not in decimal form. So that is, if it is not in a decimal form, then it is an integer. It includes counting numbers, 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. And including also 0. 0 is also an integer. And the negative of the counting numbers, these are negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, so on and so forth. These are integers. This time, let us do the adding integers using number line. So, as a reminder, when in adding integers, we simply move to the right if it is positive. Again, move to the right if it is positive. And move to the left if it is negative. We will be using this concept. Okay? Example. So, simplify um, negative 5 plus 7. So, our negative 5 we have negative 5 and plus 7. So, our 7 is positive. So, therefore, we'll start at negative 5. So, that is why place a circle at negative 5 and move 7 steps or 7 places to the right. Since it is negative, so place it here negative 5 and again, move to the right if it is positive. So, therefore, positive 7 plus if it is plus move to the right so therefore that is why move 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 so what is the answer if you will add negative 5 plus 7 what's the answer it's 2 because from negative 5 plus 7 so 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, the answer will be 2. That's how simple it is. Next. Number 2. <clears throat> Positive 3, 3 plus. Open close parenthesis to this thing. So that we may know that it is um, negative 6. And the operation here is plus. So, again, Plus. So, where shall we start? Very simple. From 3. Positive 3. So, therefore, positive 3. So, since it is negative, if it is negative, move to the left. So, therefore, from positive 3, move to the left 6 steps. That's why 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, the answer will be where does it fall? Where does it stop? Negative 3. So the answer will be negative 3. The same thing here. Where it stops, that's the answer. You have plus negative 8 plus 8. So where will you start? So you will start from negative 8. So negative 8 will start. So plus, since it is positive, therefore move to the right. Okay? Start from negative. And to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 steps because you will add it plus 8. So, where does it fall? So, it falls to 0. So, therefore, 0 is the answer. Example number 4. So, you have 2, negative 1 plus negative 5 equal to. So, first, where will you start? start from negative 1 so negative 1 since it is also negative you will add it plus negative 5 since it is negative therefore move to the left so we will start from negative 1 move to the left 1 2 3 4 5 so where does it fall so it fall in negative 6 so the answer will be negative 6 and last example, number 5, 1 plus 3, 1 plus 3 will be, start with 1, 
positive 1 and then move 3 1, 2, 3 that is why where does it fall? it's in 4 so the answer is 4 